I invite you now, as we get ready to hear the word read and proclaimed, to take your Bibles, if you have them, and turn in them to the Gospel according to Luke. The Gospel according to Luke, chapter 1, we'll be looking at verses 26 through 38. If you're using the Pew Bible, that can be found on page 884, or you can just consult the back of the outline. The text is on the back of the outline as well. But Luke, chapter 1, verses 26 through 38, of course, this is the annunciation that Gabriel brings to Mary, that she will bring forth a child who will be called the Son of God. But before we hear God's word read and proclaimed, let us go before him and ask for his blessing upon our time this morning. Heavenly Father, as we come now to the ministry of the word, we pray as always, Lord, to have open hearts and open ears to hear and receive the word that is read and the word that is proclaimed. We pray, Lord, that your word will go forth and accomplish the work that it is set out to do. And we know, Lord, that the power in the word comes from your spirit, which inspired the word. And now we pray, Lord, for myself as your servant to speak forth boldly and clearly what your word teaches in the passage before us this morning. As always, Lord, we ask for your blessing upon our time. In Jesus' name, amen. So Luke chapter 1, starting at verse 26, reading through verse 38. Please give your attention as God's holy, inspired, and inerrant word is read in your hearing. Now in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And having come in, the angel said to her, Rejoice, highly favored one, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. But when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying and considered.